Black Light. Now, we, we uh, got a series going where we calling a message to my sister. And um, we're teaching, trying to teach, you know, uh, I was uh, looking on YouTube and I seen this uh, white preacher talking about white privileges. And, you know, don't, don't be fooled by his rhetoric, even though he uses a black man to uh, reference his message, a black preacher, talking about his uh, grandfather was a slave and that he refused to leave his family. And he's trying to say that uh, the black man don't be with his family. You know, see that was breeded in us. I don't care what you say. Now, the black grandfather that he's speaking of refused to be separated from his family, and his slave master fought for him to stay with his family. That was the message in that, and that the black men today are not under those conditions where they were whipped and beat and didn't have too much say so in it. But, uh, you know, today we are mentally suffering from the effects of slavery and being separated. And the only one taught like that was the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And the white people, uh, gave Elijah Muhammad a hard time in the teaching uh, this until later on they eased up on him but in the beginning they gave him a hard time you know teaching and they recognized the fact that God was was in Elijah and with Elijah and they start respecting Elijah because the brothers and the sisters in the nation of Islam, a lot of them, you know, some of them separate, but a lot of them stayed together with their family, you know, prayed together, so forth and so on, you know. But uh, Elijah was given a scenario or the teachings on why black men is like the way we do and why we treat the black woman like we treat her and you know he got the white man disrupted those teachings and you got a lot of falling away of what Elijah Muhammad taught you got a lot of falling away uh, we jealous of one another black people are jealous of one another and uh, we not going to wholeheartedly uh, if a brother got a, a message that you know is true and it's against the white man you know a lot of us not going to go for it because we think the white man is our friend. The white man is not our friend uh, the majority of them is not our friend. Those who fought those white people who fought on the side of black people recognize the fact that if they don't give the black man total freedom uh, and let him be independent, that they race, the white race will be destroyed. You see what I'm saying? They recognize, that's why they, they, they're trying to, uh, uh, John Brown and those that were like him, emancipators, that's why they uh, did what they did. Now these, these white people today, they, you know, they doing it on a, another reason, but not the same reason John Brown did it. So they calling them liberals, you know what I'm saying? But the whole time, 
white race of people, you know, some of them recognize that the black man need to be independent from them. A, my, a, a minute few of them. Now, the black women been brainwashed or they've been let me say it like this they've been uh, totally manipulated to the point where they don't know where they're coming or going. So, our way of living, before we became slaves over here, is not the way of the white man's way, the way he came up. He came up from out the caves. So he, he's taken bullying around the world. And then make you submit to him and his way of living. But there's no righteousness in his way of living. And he know that. Donald Trump is a living example of unrighteousness. You see what I'm saying? So Y'all thinking that, well, the rest of the white people, they don't like it. Well, it's a fight between who, which white tribe is going to rule. And they want you, they want y'all black people to be on their side. Don't be on none of them side. Be on your own side, fool. You know, don't have no sympathy towards them and the way they've been treating us. You know, you ain't got to go out and try to kill all of them up. But you can be, just go within yourself. You know, be left alone. Make them leave you alone. You know. And, and quit trying to build up their world. Start trying to build up a world for yourself. Because their world ain't working. Mother Nature is turning on and some of them say, well, they got a, a machine, an art machine. Well, yeah, but that's going to turn against them, too. They're going to use their weapons on their own self. They're going to they gonna invent weapons and end up using it on their own self. All we got to do is be righteous to one another. Be righteous to each other, black man, black woman. Be righteous to your family. And that's the whole thing. The white man was right on this account. Black man, you got to be righteous to your woman. Black woman, you got to be righteous to your man. And you got to teach your children about the real God, who, who God really is. And don't worry about building up the white man's world. Like ISIS, you got to Resurrect, and when you're born, the God, the black God, you teach him to rule yourself. You don't need nobody else ruling you. We don't need nobody else ruling us. We rule ourselves. And that way we'll rule the whole planet. Black light out.